Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews the Tech Channel, and today is a proud day for us Google Nexus One owners. This exact model of phone is currently in orbit around the Earth. It was uh, just dropped off yesterday by the Antares rocket. There's two of these Nexus One phones and a Galaxy Nexus S that are up in orbit. It's part of a program that NASA has called PhoneSat, which uh, this is the first generation of them, so the phones aren't doing a whole lot up there, but they're basically built to be the brains and the heart of these little four inch on a side cube satellites. And so they're standard uh, Nexus One phones running the Google Android operating system. And now inside the cube, they've put a fairly large lithium ion battery, so this will last. And they've also got a larger antenna in there so it can uh, transmit and talk to the folks down on Earth. Now they've turned off the phone and text feature of it, which I think was kind of a mistake. It would have been a pretty good PR move if somehow they could have arranged it with you know a large ground-based antenna pointing up there. If they could have let they could have come up with a phone number for the phone and let people call the phone or text the phone up in space and you know have something come back down. People would think that's really cool. Would have been a, I think a good promotional thing for NASA. But anyway, they wanted to save the battery power, so they turned those features off. Now, if you haven't heard about this project, I'll put a link down below in the description box to the page on the NASA site. They actually have photos of the little cube that uh, the phone is in, so it's pretty interesting to see. What I was also really surprised about is that you can still buy these. If you go online, and I found them, I'll put a link down below. They're only about $200 now. They were $529, I think, when I got this new. So they're still available online, and you would think, well, who's going to want to buy a three-year-old phone? It's so outdated. But it's actually kind of a historical technological artifact when you think about it, because this was the first phone that Google sold directly to the public from their website, and that they also sold it at the full cost of the phone, the $529. So you would just buy the phone outright and then go over to T-Mobile and buy the plan completely independent of the phone and not have to sign up for the two-year contract. So, And then, of course, the, the big historical thing is that it's a satellite in orbit right now. What would really be cool is if you knew exactly when and where it was going to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and burn up. Presumably it's going to you know, look like a, a meteor. And what if you could go with your own Nexus One and record the other Nexus One burning up on re-entry? It would be pretty cool. But if you have this, you can um, show it to the grandkids someday and just like now if you take out a rotary phone and show it to kids they just think it's the coolest thing ever because they've never seen anything like that and they want to try it out and they can't imagine you actually use that as a phone so in 40 years that may be the case with one of these. So it's such a testament to the, the durability and toughness of this phone that it's going to survive two weeks in space in a vacuum and almost absolute zero but really I don't know if that's quite as impressive as the fact that this actual phone has survived a year with my teenager.